Hello and welcome to Power Grid in about three minutes. It's a game for two to six players. There is no solo mode. Playing time is around two hours. It's a reasonably complex game. It's the 1950s and demand for electricity is rising. You're one of many power companies looking to become a dominant force in this emerging market. Can you build a power network that works, manage market scarcity, and build the power plants that people need? Or will you be the leading cause of blackouts? The game ends once one player has placed a house in 17 different cities. The winner is the player who can power the most cities at the end of that turn. Competitive. Only one company can be the best. Auctions. Power plants are auctioned each turn. Network building. To win, you must provide power to the connected cities you control. Player turn. Power grid is played in five turn phases and three steps. Step one is the start of the game. Step two occurs when someone places their seventh house. And step three is when this card is drawn from the power plant deck. You start by determining player order. This is decided by the player with the most cities going first. In case of a tie, the player with the biggest power plant goes earlier. Phase 2 is bidding on power plants. There are 4 plants available for auction, and 4 that are currently unavailable. Plants are always ranked in numerical order, so lower number plants become available for bid first. If a player wins a bid, they cannot participate in any more auctions that round. Phase 3 is buying resources. The market in power grid evolves based on supply and demand. We have 3 power plants. The left one uses garbage, which is selling for 6 money each, so we buy one. The second plant can use either coal or oil. Coal is currently cheap, so we buy two to power the plant for this turn. But because it's still so cheap, we buy two more. A plant cannot store more than two turns worth of resources on it. The green plant is sustainable and doesn't need any resources. Next up is placing houses. Initially, only one house can be placed per city. It costs the number shown on the connector plus 10 to place the first house. In step two, the second house costs 15 plus the connector cost. And in step three, the third one costs 20 plus the connector the cost. Then you may power the regions you currently have houses in. Each plant has a required fuel and how many houses it powers. We spend one garbage to power one city, two coal to power two more, and the sustainable one powers two by itself. We consult this chart and get 64 money for doing that. We then restock the market after checking this board. Here we will add five coal, four oil, three garbage, and two uranium to the market. Finally, replace the highest rated power plant and put it at the bottom of the deck. It is now the next turn. Why would you like this game? Power Grid is the Millennium Falcon of board games. It may not look like much, but it's got it where it counts. The game looks dry until you start playing it and then you slowly realize that the game has a lot of depth and a huge decision space. Not only that, but the level of interaction between players in terms of auctions, house placements, and resource buying are quite high for a Euro game. No power plant buying strategy works every time, as you have to take into account what other people are buying as well. Each map has more options than you first think, as even in a six player game only uses five of the possible regions of that map. And the core box comes with a double-sided map with the US on the reverse, and there are also many, many, many expansion maps. The best thing about this game is dealing with scarcity. In a five-player game, you can only ever have three power plants, so you have to keep replacing them as you go through the game. However, it's a skill-heavy game where early mistakes can be punished. Spend too much early on, or pick a bad start position, and you can be left behind very quickly. And for a game about power generation, it doesn't comment on the side effects of that industry. If you want a game that deals with pollution as a consequence, check out CO2 or Energy Empire. Power Grid shares a lot in common with a popular Concordia, and I think if you like one, you should probably try the other as well. Power Grid, 15 years old, still powerful. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.